Then we have another solution uh, called Semaphore. These are simple synchronization tool. Essentially, Semaphore's S, they are only integer variable. And this, uh, this uh, synchronization tool, this is employed in order to control access to shared variable. As we said, shared variable, we need, we don't want everyone to share it or not to share it, but everyone wants to access it at the same time. So only one process may at any point in time change the value of shared variable. This is what is the requirement. So now this semaphore S, they, as, as, I, as I just said, these are integer variable only. They can only be accessed by two standard atomic operation, weight and signal. Weight and signal. So weight will do what? It will simply decrement this integer variable. Signal will simply increment this variable. And this modification to this integer variable, this is, that is the semaphore, in the weight and signal operation, this must be executed indivisibly atomically. Where we can have two types of semaphore counting and binary. Counting means it can allow n processes to access the say for example a database by initializing the semaphore to n. Binary means 0 and 1. So n process now here in the in this case they share a semaphore which is let us call it as a mutex. The name of the semaphore as we just said as s now it is mutex that is mutual exclusion which is initialized to 1. So each process is organized like this. When it enters, it will wait, means this mutex will be changed, wait, we know what weight does, it decrements. Then critical section is, uh, inside critical section we go, then signal, that means this mutex will be incremented. 